Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, power planes or copper pours, um, how they can save you a little bit of time, um, or maybe you know why you use a copper plane, but you you just want to learn how to do it in KiCad or KiCad. I, I may have been saying it wrong all uh, all along, but. Um, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure whether it's KiCad or KiCad. So, someone in the comments, um, please just do me the favor and and uh, correct me. Um, now, in the last video, I mentioned I might be talking about the 3D viewer that comes with KiCad. Um, but to be honest, there's not a whole lot to say about it uh, unless I go into um, explaining how to make your own. 3D models for custom parts, which that will be, well there's already some videos on YouTube on how to do that, um, but I may make my own uh, and go through it myself, but uh, I guess I'll just show you um, how you get to it. So you can get, it, get to the 3D viewer from the view file uh, file menu or alt 3 alt 3 nice and I was very impressed the first time that I opened up the 3d viewer you know it's almost like you feel like you're running an expensive program you know, we, we, we rarely get this sort of candy when it comes to open source uh, programs just because it's not uh, critical to getting the job done but they did a fantastic job on this. I must say, it, it looks pretty real. Um, and there's a lot of work that went into building all of the 3D models for the packages. So I'm I'm impressed. And now on to the copper pours. So if you don't put a copper uh, pour down. Then when you make your circuit board, in fact we can now use our 3D viewer, you can see there will be copper where the traces are and everywhere else the copper will be gone. Okay, so there will be very little copper on the surface. And maybe you don't care so much about that um, from, from a design perspective, but think about some useful cases where it'd be um, you could benefit from having copper all around and one is if you have a lot of connections to one particular net maybe ground then you can make the copper plane make all that unused copper uh, be grounded and then this pad and this pad and you know one of those and this pad and that pad instead of running a trace all around we can just connect it right to the copper uh, to the copper so it's fairly easy they call it a zone or a filled zone and I've selected ground. I could do 15 volts, but I think I have more ground contacts. And that's, I mean, that's just what I decided to do. It wouldn't make sense to choose net 1 or with J1 just because I could do it easier just by running a trace. You get the idea. You can set the clearance or the clearance between the copper zone and any traces or pads. There's also the minimum width. And so if there's a really tight area, say between two traces, it won't even try to leave, it won't try to connect the uh, copper plane through there. There's some other options like how you want it to look, hatched or line or whatever. It 
So now we have to actually click around. And there we go. You can see because I told it to be a ground plane, it went ahead and connected all the pins that are uh, ground to this plane. Now it is still showing a rat's nest wire as if I had not connected them yet. At least to me that's undesired behavior. Maybe someone in the comments can clear that up, but I feel like at this point that rat's nest wire should uh, disappear. Alright. Let's check out our 3D view now. Oh, it looks like I changed the color to purple and now it looks like a board that OSH Park would make. That's cool. The color options are just in the preferences. Now, the 3D viewer uh, will let you catch some mistakes. For example, the board extends past the copper clad, and that's because we didn't define board dimensions yet. Let's go ahead and fix that. We want to just make a graphic line, and I'll select edge cuts. I tried to use uh, X to start a line, but that's only for copper tracks. I don't think it did the last one. Okay. And that looks better. Okay. So I'm really liking this 3D viewer, uh, helping me not only to see what the final board will look like, but maybe catch mistakes along the way. All right. Well, I know this was um, probably not too difficult of a tutorial, a little bit shorter than the others, but uh, I use copper planes or copper pores, power planes, however you refer to them. I just use them all the time. Um, so I, I figured it, it kind of deserved its own video. So I hope you had fun with the 3D viewer. Play around with that. And uh, you can mess with the copper planes too. You don't have to make rectangles, of course, any shape you want. And you don't have to tie it to ground. You could tie it to any signal. I just find ground oftentimes um, saves me a lot of time. All right. Well, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'll I'll see you in the next one. I haven't decided what that topic will be yet.